Oh my gosh, what have I done? Hey gamers, we're back for some more recreating Minecraft TikTok builds. But before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that my vinyl figure is on sale. You can go ahead and buy that. The link is down in the description. Just get an adorable little version of me to watch over you every single day. That kind of sounds creepy, but I promise you it's not. It's really cute. Let's start with the first build. How to build lunchroom. What is lunchroom? I don't know. Do they mean kitchen? Probably. Oh, cute fireplace. I vibe with this. Ooh, we have some shelves. That's really cute, actually. They're like cupboards. This is adorable. I love this. And an island too. We be living the rich Minecraft life. Oh. It's a table with chairs and everything. Honestly, I am shook. This is beautiful. This is amazing. We have to recreate this. Okay, to start this off, first of all, we need our little kitchen room. So I'm just building that up with some green concrete right now. Now I'm just adding in the floor. Going for some classic birch planks here. Okay, so the guy starts off making a fireplace in the corner. I don't know many people that have a fire in their kitchen, but it's pretty cute. I vibe with it. I'm just gonna try and make that. I don't really know how to make it. I hope this is right. Hmm. Okay, so he has the nether a rack in the corner and he lights that. Cute! There's our fireplace! Just kidding. I think he uses grey glass and quartz stairs. Not gonna lie, this is actually adorable. I'm already living for it. And then next he adds a little shelf just coming off here and he puts on some flower pots and then in there we're gonna choose our favorite colors. So let's go with purple, pink, and wow, a wither rose. Can we actually use that? Oh my gosh, I live for that. I love it. Okay, cute. And then he gets working on the cupboards up here, which like blew my mind by the way, adorable. Okay, so this guy puts down two pieces of string and then he goes ahead with the white cap Carpet. Absolute genius move. Never in my life have I ever done this before. I think he puts white carpet all the way across too. Honestly, did not know you could do that. How adorable. And then to have handles on this unit, simply just use buttons. Let's add the bookcase going up here as well. And their room is actually one more than mine is. Oopsie. <laughs> I'm just gonna extend this out because they added a trap door to the side of these bookshelves. And if we recreate in these TikToks, we're gonna do it properly. Okay. Okay, cool. So I think they used chisels quartz block to fill in the back here and it just adds that extra little, I don't know, design detail. It looks so cute living for it. I love it already and it's not even finished. Okay, so now we're going to get working on that table in the middle there and we're going to surround it with the glass panes. And on top of these glass panes, we're going to layer it up with the carpet. But we're going to leave this middle section out because we want that to be exposed. It gives more detail to the table. We're going to have a flower pot in the middle there with a with a rose and then we can go around and add our chairs the arms of the chairs we're going to be using item frames and we are almost finished with this build gotta say this is adorable and then for a little bit of extra detail gonna add in a painting guys this is my finished build what are you thinking personally i think this is adorable and i can definitely see myself using this in the future because i am not very good at home design in minecraft I actually never think to add stuff in like a table or chairs and usually my Minecraft house is pretty boring and basic But this in my opinion is 10 out of 10 adorable This next TikTok build is adorable, but I really don't know why you need to do this It is making a baby crib in Minecraft. I guess this could be a cute addition to a house I don't really know why are we getting married in Minecraft Are we have in Minecraft children, but I gotta say this crib it's adorable. So of course, I'm gonna have to recreate them. So all we need for this are some beds and also some trapdoors. The acacia trapdoor seems to work the best because it has the lines in it and that replicates the bars on like a baby's crib. So let's add a blue bed here and we're gonna have a pink bed here. We're just gonna go around these with the trapdoors and create ourselves little baby cribs. Oh my gosh, that's actually adorable. I can't cope. I'm gonna move this blue bed over here, but seriously, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. It's time for the next build. I actually love this one because when I was watching it being built for the first time, I had no idea what it was. And then at the end, it was such a pleasure.
pleasant little surprise because it's a little bed area and like scratching posts for a cat. And having two cats myself in real life, I'm a cat lover all around, even in Minecraft. So this made me so happy. You can store all of your fish in the little chest. Perfect. So this one is actually really, really simple to build. You just have your chest here at the back. You also have an oak log and a stair right here. We have our item frame on here with a fish. Let's put down our fence piece. And on top of that, we're having a slab. This is the area that the cat's actually going to sit on. We simply surround this with some signs. And then finally, we surround the entire thing with trapdoors. And our cat scratching post is finally complete. If you would please remove yourself so I can shut that. There we go, guys. What do you think? The ocelot is loving it. And I personally think this is adorable. And every Every Minecraft ocelot owner has to have this. The next one we have here is apparently a working Minecraft shower, which is amazing to me. I've always wanted to take a shower in Minecraft, you know, because I don't already hate doing that in real life. It's such effort, man. Hate it. But this is looking so cute and very, very simple. So let's do it. I honestly don't know why I never thought of this before. It seems to be such a simple, basic idea, but I just never have. So let's clear out this. Now we have a nice shower looking shape. Go ahead and grab our glass panes. Shove those in there. We need a dispenser and a button. And then finally, we need the water. This is actually so simple. It's wild. There's our water and there's our working shower. For some reason, the button fell off, but it didn't in his video. Let's try it exactly like they did with the wooden button. It knocks it off every time, but in the TikTok video, it didn't. Anybody know the answer to this? If you do, let me know down in the comment section, because this would be a really cool build if the button just didn't fall off. And also if there was a way to stop the water running afterwards. This next build is called a Minecraft sandcastle, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what it looks like. All right, so we need a four by four hole in the ground, and we're gonna add the sandstone around the edges, sand in the middle, stone wall, and then water can fit in there. What? What? Okay, I didn't know you could do that. Let's go back into Minecraft and try this one out. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those sandstone stairs, which I don't think I've actually ever used in Minecraft. There we go. Okay, the next step is simply adding in the sand. We need a sandstone wall, which is gonna be our little castle. It's so adorable. And then finally, we just need to grab some water. Now, this is the interesting part. You can put water in this? You can! What? I did not know this. This is news to me. Oh, I I wish I was better at placing water though. I'm just not patient enough, but there we go. I honestly had no idea you could do that. My mind has been blown today. This is an absolutely adorable build. Can you even call it a build? I don't know, decoration, whatever this is, it's adorable and I just wanna spam my entire world with these little sand castles. This one is another take on the classic Minecraft bunk bed, but I think they did this really well. It turned out so cute. There's even a little desk underneath and a flower pot. I mean, what do you love about flowers, especially in the bedroom? It just looks so cute. So I'm gonna try and recreate this one. Hopefully I do it right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they put the beds down first on top of just some normal oak. I don't know how they get the bed to stay there after they remove the block, but they do. I'm hoping mine does too. Okay, we also have some oak here and there. We have an oak block here too. And for the desk, there is trapdoors placed right under these oak blocks. So we have our little desk area and then they have scaffolding. I've never used scaffolding, honestly. Oh gosh, I don't even know what it does. Okay, I'm so confused. I'm so curious to how these beds are gonna levitate, but they do. What the heck? Okay. And then they place the glass panes here. They add the scaffolding in and there seems to be water in the scaffolding. What? My mind is blown. I did not know that could happen. We're gonna need some ladders to climb up to our beds. The flower, which I'm just obsessed with. Put that in there. A nice blue one to match the bed. And then we're adding our little chair for the desk. And that is our finished little bedroom build, guys. What do you think about this one? I think it's really creative. I don't understand the purpose of the flower because you can't see it if you're stood down here. If you climb up to the bed, yeah, you can see it, but I don't know, something weird about that. I don't know what's happening in here with this water and scaffolding. Is it meant to look like a laptop or a TV or a fish tank? Could you actually put a fish in there? Would it survive? No. The fish wouldn't survive in there. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Oh no. I just tried to add a fish into our little fish tank and now this. Oh gosh. <laughs> 
I killed them all. Yeah, maybe don't try do that if you recreate this build. Gotta say, my favorite out of the ones that I've built today has to be the miniature sandcastle, hands down. If you would like me to make another video recreating Minecraft TikTok builds, do make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.